hello my beautiful family welcome to today's video so in today's video i'm going to be making aloe vera natural hair clarifying shampoo for faster and super hair growth guys first i'm going to be showing you i will be using this bacon as my measurement core because it has measurement uh you know a number so maybe i will be measuring this castile soap in there uh 150 milliliter of my castile soap Now my second ingredient is tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is super amazing when you are making clarifying shampoo or anything that has to do with the contact of your scalp because it helps to treat mucus, septic, antibacterial and so many things just as the lemon essential oil as well. All this essential oil I'm adding, they will help for stimulants and to clean your scalp, to remove build up. And not only that, it will also help to prepare your scalp for, you know, your deep conditioner of all your uh, rinse out conditioner. Because if your scalp is clogged, no matter any hair treatment you do to your hair your hair will not grow because your scalp is clogged so i went ahead to mix uh the whole ingredient now i'm going to set this aside for the basic and the main ingredients for this shampoo is aloe vera plant so you are going to need aloe vera or aloe vera plant for this because aloe vera has a powerful benefit which i've also talked about when it comes to your hair growth it helps to encourage hair growth a lot it also helps to treat any uh, stuff on your scalp as well it also helps to treat dandruff it also helps to clean your scalp and also to boost your hair growth as well so this is how i'm just going to do it i'm not going to blend it and you don't need to blend it because if you blend it you are going to make it to turn into liquid meanwhile when you scrape it like this gently just scrape it it's going to come with a full thick old gel so that is what you need to do and that is the way you want the gel to come in before you add it to your shampoo because if you blend it and sift it it's going to turn liquid and your shampoo is just it will act just like water it will not act like um like a gel but if you want to go ahead to make your own gelling base you can do the same but i'm just this is just a simple diy for every body okay so this is what i will do until i get all the gel from the uh from the skin so with that you don't even need to sift it because the old gel will just break on its own the only thing you will find maybe some chunk if maybe you don't do it right so just go ahead remove those chunk of aloe vera gel so now i'm going to come with my preservative but this is optional so i'm preventing i'm preserving my sorry guys because um i'm not going to do my shampoo right away let's assume you want to do your shampoo today or tomorrow or let me say three or one week before you can make it without preserving it meanwhile i'm going to do my shampoo in two weeks time so i need to preserve it so that's it so after that i'm just going to come in with my first mix with uh, my casting soap and my essential oils so i'm going to scrub everything you don't need to waste out this stuff this stuff is so so amazing so after this another thing i want to explain right now when you are mixing it it's going to look very funny not mixing well together but don't worry just go ahead 
slowly just you know do it the way you are seeing me doing it right now just slowly do it do it this way so by before you know it it will start to mix with the gel and uh, in that way the, this uh, shampoo is going to come up very very thick and after some days it's going to come very normal like a normal creamy shampoo and before you use this shampoo guys let it sit in the shampoo for one week at least so in that case you have a very good shampoo creamy thick and so you know um beneficial for your natural hair growth even if you have damage hair this is also amazing and great for uh, dandruff scalp oily scalp and dry scalp as well it's going to help because you know aloe vera also help to balance your your skin and your you know your skin ph so in that case that is why i said it's good for oily and dry scalp so right now i'm just going to show you the test of the foaming that's the saponification with so just drop of water in that little i mean little that was in my whisk check out the foaming guys because you use everything natural with the add water and you know aloe vera also act as a you know natural shampoo on its own you can just add and apply aloe vera on your scalp with some um uh let me say bicarbonate of so uh, bicarbonate, uh, bicarbonate so uh, of sodium sorry guys and uh, mix it very well apply it to your scalp and after a while just rinse your scalp that is also amazing meanwhile this shampoo will help to unclog i mean unclog your scalp before you use the this shampoo can be used twice a month and first of all, I, I discovered that shampoo needs to be left on your scalp. At least, just go ahead, umidi odas, spray some water on your hair, apply shampoo, this very shampoo, massage it on your scalp, let it sit for five minutes, then go ahead, apply another shampoo and rinse your scalp. This is how good shampoo acts to grow your hair, to treat your scalp, and make your hair to come that sheen. So you just use this cute bottle or any one you have. So this is what I'll be using. Press it on my head, and this shampoo is so, so creamy. So guys, I hope you love this video. If you do, please don't hes hesitate to subscribe. If you've not, share to support my channel and to also help somebody out there. Thank you all for watching. God bless you all as usual. Bye-bye.